Place value 1a. Place value is the value of each digit in a number based on the location of the digit. So I've got these counters here to help us. We can see there's a 100. There's 100 squares here. Each of these are a 10, so we have two 10s, and we have three 1s. In place value, we have 1 in the 100's place, 2 in the 10's place, 3 in the 1's place. We have 123. All whole numbers are made up of these 10 digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Depending on how many place values there are, they're going to have one of these in its place value. And whole numbers are counting numbers. They're just the numbers we use when we count things. So I made this chart and this big, long number, and these are the numbers in the ones place, and I know it says tens and hundreds, but bear with me. These are all the ones. There's 937 ones. There's 562 thousands. There's 148 millions, and there's two billions. And we could have gone 10 billions, 100 billions. But every single place value period, that's what each three is called. We'll talk about that more in the next video tells us how many are in that place value. This is the ones, the thousands, the millions, the billions, and it goes on, all right? Now in word form, which we'll also talk about more in the next video, this would be 2,148,562,937. And we'll talk about more about the hyphens and stuff in the next video, okay? I just want you to know that that's word form. Standard form is just writing the number with the commas in between each third one, see? And each digit of this number represents a quantity for its particular place value. And the total value is the sum of the values of the digits. You know, sum is the answer in addition. So what we do is we know there's 2 in the 1 billion's place. So 2 times 1 billion is 2 billion. There's a 1 in the 100 million's place. 1 times 100 million is 100 million. There's a 4 in the 10 millions place. 4 times 10 million is 40 million. There's an 8 in the 1 millions place. So 8 times 1 million is 8 million. We can do that for every single place value going all the way down to the 7 ones. We can do 7 times 1. Once these are in expanded form like this, we can actually take all of these and add them up to get a sum that brings us back to our standard form. See? That's all it's saying, that the total value is the sum of the values of the digits. So this is the sum of the value of the digits down here. See? These are the values of the digits. That's the sum of the values of the digits. Okay? This is written in expanded form. They were multiplied. We got a product, and then we added up all the products to get a sum here. Okay? When we're writing a number in expanded form, if there's a zero in a place value, we don't include it in the expression. So we have 304 here. That would be 3 times 100 plus a 4 times 1. Because there's a zero in the tens place, there's no tens. That times 10 in expanded form is not included. See? We just skip right over it. Now, up here, I've got all the place values going all the way up to dodecillion, which you may not have ever heard of, and that's a pretty big number. What we're going to concern ourselves with, though, is these. This is everything to the left of a decimal point, and we'll get into decimals in Lesson 8. For right now, we're just concerned that this right here is how many ones there are. There's 53 ones, and you can see this is how many thousands there are, this is how many millions there are, and this is how many billions there are. And each one is broken up into ones, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds. And it keeps doing that over and over and over again, okay? So you can actually go online and see all the different place values that are going up. After billion is trillion, after trillion is quadrillion, then quintillion, then hexillion, it just keeps going, all right? So if you're still confused, there's going to be links in this video's description 
to grade 4 math 1.1 and grade 5 math 1.1 and 1.2. So I'm going to do this for all these GED math lessons. There's going to be links in the video's description that are going to have other videos that I've made previously that you can watch for extra help. Okay? So we're going to continue on to 1B and we're going to talk about what each of these sections between the commas are called and writing it in word form. All right, so I hope you're having a great day, and I hope I'll see you there. Bye.